Ready for your intro? Yeah, sure. All right. Good. Hello, beautiful people. Happy today. We are back with Chris from Lavish Liquid for our August edition. What are we doing? Well, it, we're going to highlight what's the our pineapple. We're oh, really? I can't yeah. tell. <laughs> well, we hinted, at, we hinted at last episode. We, we had we to follow did. through. We did, we, we did watermelon last time because that was oh. one of your favorites. Yes. But we're going to touch base on pineapples this time. Uh, we've got a really, really great new product I'm going to talk about too. Um, but uh, right. to talk a bit about pineapples and why we use them in industry because the pineapple actually is the uh, symbol for hospitality. Oh, no way! Yeah, oh, yeah. So, so even uh, way back when Columbus first came to the New World and discovered the pineapple, it became this royal fruit and it was wow. given as gifts to the kings and queens and Love it was uh, actually preferred over jewels and gold. No way! Yeah. yeah. Wow! Alrighty, keep that in mind, people. Thanks yeah. for that. That's awesome. Well, as you said, they, they thought it was a royal fruit sent from the gods because it's one of the fruits that actually has a crown. That is so right? fascinating. Yeah. It's true, though. Yeah. Wow. Okay, thanks so, for that. Oh, of course, of course. So, yeah, as you can see, we got uh, some nice uh, pineapple displays. We got some nice pineapple cups we're going to use today to make yeah. a pineapple daiquiri. And we're going to keep it nice and simple for you to replicate at home to make sure that you can uh, do this as well. Yes. Uh, so, we're going to be using a nice Cuban rum. The daiquiri actually comes from Cuba. Uh, so, we're using Havana Club. This is the, the three year, actually. And there's also the seven, and then the extra Añejo there from the Legendario, which actually is not available in the market in Canada yet, but this one you can get readily available in uh, all your BC liquor stores. Right on. Yeah, so nice uh, three, age, uh, three year old rum. We're going to use that, and we're going to awesome. actually do a nice little quick shake here. Cool. Okay, so daiquiri is very, very simple. Typically, a traditional daiquiri is uh, just your rum, lime juice, and uh, cane sugar syrup, or a simple syrup, which you can make at home with equal parts of sugar and water. Just bring that to a boil and you have your simple syrup. Got it. Uh, but we're going to do, a little, of course, we're going to incorporate pineapple in there to give it that, some of that tropical flavors to also uh, accent some of the uh, great flavors of the rum. Uh, so actually sugar cane and pineapp uh, pineapple are actually grown kind of in the same areas as well. Oh, so okay. naturally they, they accent each other and it's one right of the things on. they used to do in the past to make uh, rum more palatable was add pineapple to it because in the earlier days rum was actually not really tasty. Uh, it's much better now but back then they incorporated more sugar and things like pineapple and lime stuff to make it taste better. Okay. But yeah, so we're gonna do All it. Right. So we're doing a single shot. Well, I mean, this is a single shot, but we're actually going to do two. Okay. We're, yeah, doubles, always. Always doubles when we're doing cocktails. So can we do one? Just we, well, you, you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just we're we're, we're going to do, do one because, I mean, it's hot out. You know, it, I mean, for me anyway, when I'm drinking on a hot day, it hits me wow. really hard. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's okay. perfect for summer parties. So two ounces of rum. And then we're going to go into uh, fresh lime juice. I get all my juices from uh, Chasers. It's a juice ring in Yelltown. Uh, fresh, fresh juice is always best in cocktails. It, uh, or you can, you know, make your own juice because... Yeah, you exactly. Know. You just juice at home. Yeah, depending uh, where you are. Absolutely. Well but if, you, uh, if you're if you doing a big party and you don't want to juice all those uh, limes, uh, definitely I recommend using Chasers. They're great. So I did a three-quarter ounce uh, of lime juice and now we're going to do uh, a full ounce of pineapple. The pineapple juice. It's a pineapple well. juice, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Right uh, now, because the pineapple juice is also, uh, there's a lot of sweetness that comes from it, so I'm not going to add a ton of simple syrup. We're going to add just a little bit more to help balance out some of that lime. Okay. So we're going to do about one third. Okay. 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 Now we're going to use this lovely pineapple cup here. So I'm going to actually do a light shake. This is our cup. And where'd you, where'd you get yours yeah. from? Where'd you get yours from? You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, um, well, I'm a pineapple lover yeah. also, well, mostly because of the shape, and I have no idea about all the, like, you know, history behind it, yeah. which I'm, like, even liking it even more, but I just love it as an ornament and as a little decorative thing, as you can see, I have this little vase, too. It's really nice. I just, yeah, it's really nice for decor ideas, but I just love this because I could multitask mm -hmm. it, and I'm always looking for things that I can reuse and do different things with. So this was really cool. I know anthropology carries them. Mm -hmm. I like believe, yes, it's true. 
I believe some boutiques also carry them, like some home boutiques, but I think the cross also carries them. Yeah, I think they I do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to use this nice pineapple cup here that Jay provided us for today. So we're going to make like cake. The great thing too about pineapple juice, for those of you who uh, like foamy cocktails or like really nice frothy cocktails but can't have egg white due to maybe some allergies or uh, dietary uh, preferences, uh, pineapple juice actually, because of the proteins there, uh, it actually creates a nice foam as well. Oh, yeah, so you, you know, it's nice oh, and foamy yeah, there. Right. Uh, maybe you can kind of see that a little bit. But if you were a cocktail at home and you use pineapple juice in a cocktail, if you give it a nice shape, it'll create a nice little bit of foam. A little bit different than egg white, of course, but. Uh, Nice pineapple daiquiri. And you have a nice little beautiful gold straw. Yeah. Well, you want to sip on that? I do. Yeah, you want to sip on that? <laughs> so uh, when Jay was talking about how pineapples, uh, her, her decorative style pineapples, and actually that goes back into when Columbus first brought pineapples back to uh, Europe. Again, it was a, a sign of wealth, actually, if you had a pineapple at home on display or even a pineapple to have to serve, it meant you were wealthy. And some people actually had it just on display no ju way. just to All showcase right, there you go. how rich they were. And that's that's one of the great things well, about pineapple juice. As you can like see, we have a lot of pineapples. Oh, yeah. They're very wealthy, Baller. just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're even drinking a pineapple drink. So we're just, yeah. <laughs> mm. um, so, hold on, oh, yeah. we're try it. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, so that, that, that rum really comes so through. refreshing. Super refreshing on yeah. a hot day, but also can be kind of dangerous. So it's a sneak up on you for sure. Uh, so I want to talk about a different, uh, few different things too that you can incorporate into a pineapple cocktail or just a mocktail, whatever you want to do to enhance some of the flavors. So a uh, rouge I have uh, orgeat. Orgeat syrup is actually uh, an almond syrup, uh, which they also use a little bit of orange blossom water. Can I? Absolutely, yeah. Like, yes. smell it? Oh, please, I'm just, please. like, always it's ask to smell it. Super, so. uh, super fragrant, delicious, mm. uh, used in a lot of tiki style right. cocktails. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The color, I love the color. Yeah. It's just really nice. And then we also have a little bit of anise. Uh, so anise is great for tiki style cocktails as well, and I love that uh, it kind of adds a little bit of a, another uh, flavor profile when you're playing with the pineapple and mm -hmm. add a little bit of anise, it's really great. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And then finally, this is a, a new product that has just come to the market in Canada. Uh, so this is from Jafar. This is actually a liqueur. These other two are, uh, sorry, the other two are syrups. This is a liqueur. This is the Caribbean pineapple liqueur from Jafar. Uh, is made with macerated pineapples, uh, not with it's artificial Same pineapple. brand. Same brand. Got it. But, so they do uh, syrups and liqueurs. Uh, you can find these in specialty stores. Where are they stores. based out of again? In France. Okay. Yeah, so this is new to the market. Absolutely delicious. Great just on ice. Mm. It's so good. Uh, one of my favorite so you things. You will just have this on ice. That's it. You can. Right, of right? course, you can, you can throw it in a cocktail as well. Yeah, but I mean, it's, 20%. It's, it's, it's so great on its own. Um, one of my new favorite mm -hmm. things, again, has just come to the market. So if you are, right are a pineapple fan, I highly recommend picking up one of these from one of your specialty liquor stores. Yes. Yeah, and awesome. then I, I play with a few things with pineapple too at home. I love roasting pineapple, incorporating into different things. I actually made... Yeah, like if you have an outdoor barbecue thing. I, I made my own bitters. Actually, this is a pineapple, oh. roasted pineapple and tamarind bitters. Um, I didn't use it today because obviously it's hard for you to replicate this at home, but just some things that uh, for those home bartenders, if you want to, mm. you know, use this for different things, marinades, of course, pineapple's great for many different things. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Anything. Want to try that? Oh, so good. Lots of pineapple, lots of tamarind. Like, I roasted that for a good 40 minutes. Love, like, is it pepper? Yeah, there is pepper for sure, right? Is uh, it pepper? Well, I mean, you, it's like very, like, peppercorny. Yeah, well, when you, when you roast it, uh, well, obviously a lot of different flavors come out. The sugars come out, so, and then when you're aging oh, it, so good. Uh, I aged that, or sorry, I uh, marinated that into a rum. So it's a quarter of a bit of rum, too. He's just so talented. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Anything else? Pineapples. Pineapples. <laughs> yeah. And wealth. They go yeah. <laughs> They go along. Next, next time you're having a party, you get a bunch of pineapples just and get just show them how good you are. I think those are so like, good. If you get just a few like, leaves and then a whole bunch of pineapples, you could even use them as a table center on your like yeah, outdoors absolutely. or just, again, 
put it on your bar. You can just play with them because they're so pretty mm -hmm. and they're so like, you know, upscale so you can kind of show your wealth and whatnot to your guests. Yeah. <laughs> and of make course, sure you eat them after. Yeah, yeah, eat them and of course making cocktail an amazing them. cocktail with them, which was super easy as you can see as you saw so make sure to check Chris out at yeah so you can follow us on all of our social handles uh, Twitter Instagram Facebook at lavish liquid bar or you can come to our website uh, lavish uh, and we'll link it below all as your party always needs, give me a call yes me or comment us on the video below and let us know what you think if you have any questions we're more than happy to answer yeah. and show you more in our you know future months so yeah, if there's anything that you'd like to see, comment below, let us know, and I'll try and feature that in our next video. You bet. Thank you so much okay. for watching. Have an amazing summer. Have an amazing August. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye, yeah. guys. Bye.